Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this enemy behavior with behavior trees. So if they see me, they will wait like two seconds and start pointing the gun at me. And in two seconds, they will start shooting. And if I move away from their um, line of sight, they will stop firing and wait a while and just continue free roaming. Now that guy saw me and the other one also. Right, started firing. Now I am no longer visible, so they just do free roaming. Okay, so this is the behavior I'm going to implement today. Here I will be using behavior trees and uh, behavior tree tasks and services. Okay, so now uh, this is what happens at the moment. So if the enemy see me, he just looks at me and don't do anything. And if I go, uh, if I hide, like go behind a cover, and if he don't see me anymore, he just uh, keep free roaming like that. So what I want to do is like, if when he see me, like wait five seconds and start shooting. So, right, how to do that? First, let me open the. AI behavior tree. So this is what we have so far. So before anything, I need to do some cleaning up here. So this uh, set focus. This actually use uh, just I get the player controller and set it as the new focus. Oh no, that part I already fixed it. I forgot that. So it called this focus target actor on the AI. Uh, first thing is there is an inbuilt way to do that that I didn't know yesterday. So we have this service. Service default focus and here as the character I want to focus I'll set target actor now I can remove this and this is uh, something I added for testing so then so this is all we have if I play we will have the same behavior as before oh, wait why isn't he focusing on me that it the target adapter all right i think since i don't have any of the tasks under that oh wait let me play again yeah we have a value here yeah since i don't have anything under this branch uh this part is not getting executed that should be the reason so i'll yeah, actually this test task test it's just a blank nothing is there i'll just add it test task test and see Mm, no, still not focusing. All right, since this is a blank task, this doesn't take any time, so I think this one will be called as long as we remain in this section so let's add a way mode here 
the seconds simply wait all right now it is working see now he is focusing on me and if i quickly wait he should yeah he's resuming free roll okay one step down so the reason i uh, removed that branch and replaced is it with this default service is because i need to keep this as simple as possible that's why i wanted to do that okay so now we need uh, to tell the character to start shooting and for that i already have some function set up in the character itself <laughs> where is it here no here you went fire this one so we need uh, to create a service that can be uh, sorry not a term, service a task that can be accessed through the behavior tree uh, that is associated with this event fire so which we can control firing or not from the player from the not player from the character towards whatever the target actor right so to do that here let's create a new vt task floor mm. print basic based i'll call it vt task um, File here event receive execute AI. Here I'll add a variable fire enable fire. Or to be if you want to more sound it more generic attack here we have controlled pawn uh, first we have a branch uh, we, we can have a branch if this is true we can call double fire No. Fire using CLM API character. Actually, we don't need a branch, we can just connect this enable attack. Right. Oh, wait. Uh, this can. No, let's uh, not implement it like this. Let's implement it like. Uh, if the character can see the player the character should start uh, should fire like let's say for five seconds then wait then stop and wait for a while and then start shooting in again like three seconds so to do that here let's have a branch if this is true let's start firing right away and wait let's make them wait for a random sorry <laughs> i can't type random here random float in range let's say three seconds to six seconds and then Uh, uh, 
fire here as uh, stop firing Then finish execute uh, with the success. Meanwhile, if this get aborted, execute abort. event receive abort AI, we should stop firing right away. So that means get control for fire. We call it with the uh, force and finish. Uh, what? Maybe we need to call this as the parent class uh, function. Uh, oh no, maybe not. Yeah, let's call this to be safe maybe there are something relevant happens there as well and then uh, finish Then we can use it in our here. So before we start firing, we should wait like one second. So maybe three seconds with some random deviation. So it could be the four maximum or two minimum. Then. Uh, Fire. Well, there is a toggle shoot one as well. Maybe, yeah, that's something coming from the previous AI system I had. Uh, oh, wait, this has to be public so I can enable it here, right? So after shooting. He should wait another no we don't it doesn't have to wait because waiting will happen here right uh, one more thing here observer about self on result chain so if this target actor is lost we should cancel so then this uh, this about AI will be called here and stop firing and it will stop firing Right, shall we test? See, it stopped firing. Waiting now during the random moment, but he's still holding the gun. How should we prevent that? Ah, right. Uh, here, there we have set up another aim down event. This one, aim down. So we can call that too. We stop firing and we call aim down with the force. So it goes to like a, it stops aim.
right, and we should use the same do the same thing here as well in case uh, we, this part is get aborted Right, now let's see. See now he's holding the gun as usual. Okay, I think it would look cool if the characters start aiming before firing right away. Uh, so for that, we can do something like this. When we enable attack, before we start firing. Oh wait, no. Uh, maybe we can have a different task, but for now I'll put it inside here. Aim down. True. And character should always wait. It's it. Mm. Two seconds before starts firing. So player will know that he is going to shoot. Alright, so that's the behavior I wanted to finish in this episode. So I'm going to stop uh, this episode right here. And thanks for watching. So as always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.